Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to project images onto curved surfaces. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of these pillows here and just kind of move it off to the side so we can easily work with it. So we'll move it there. The next important step is to make sure that you're completely inside of the component or group that you're working on. So we're just going to double click here. So this one I only had to double click once, but sometimes um, grouped items are grouped multiple times. So make sure that you're clicked in to it entirely and you can see these blue dots and we're able to click on the face of the item that we want to change. From here, we're going to draw a rectangle square out in front of it. You can see this is a component because it's changing all the other ones at the same time. So your rectangle or square has to be roughly the same size or a bit larger than the item that you're wanting to project onto. So that looks good. The next thing we're going to want to change is the orientation of this face. So if you're working with Podium or I'm assuming other um, photorealistic plugins for SketchUp, you want to make sure that you have the white face and not the blue one. And you can't just change the color, you have to physically change the orientation of that face. So we're going to click on this, right click, and reverse faces. Perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is import our texture. So we're going to import it just like we would any other texture. Import. I have a texture saved on my desktop here. And we're just going to click, click. So this is our texture that we want projected onto our curved surface. The next thing we're going to do is right click go to texture and click on projected. So to make sure that it worked okay, we're gonna right click, go down to texture and make sure that there's a check mark next to projected. If that's there, we can click off of that. And then the next thing we're gonna do is use our paint bucket tool. But instead of just clicking on the texture here, what we're gonna wanna do is if you're on your Mac, hold down your command key so that you see the eyedropper tool. And this is going to select that projected texture that's there. Click on that. You'll see it shows up here. You can release your command key. And then from here, we can click on our pillow. And you'll see the textures on there. So from here, we can just double click so that it selects all of this square, delete it, and then click out of our component there and just move him back into place. And because, like I said, this is a component, it changed the other two that are the same size there. And there you have it. You have your projected texture onto your pillows there. 